Hi, so I know I haven't made a real blog video in a while. It's just because I've been kind of, you know, overwhelmed with school. My stress is a different kind of stress from last year. Last year, I remember talking a lot about, oh my god, I have to go home and study, and I don't know if I'm going to pass this test, and blah, 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 stuff like that. But this year, it's a different kind of stress because now it's more um, patient care and time management. So my time management skills have always been kind of yeah, but I'm learning to be better with it. And one of the ways I'm learning time management better is to have a calendar. So I have this calendar on my phone. Um, I actually use the Google Calendar that's attached to your Gmail. The school gives you a calendar and they give it to you in PDF form or a digital format form. And so I take it and I upload it into my Gmail account. To my calendar. So what I can do is have it synced with my phone and I don't know if you can see but I have my calendar for everything on here. I have like six different calendars because there's six different colors um, and so I have available appointment dates, booked appointments, off sessions, so things that I need to book, school events, um, personal events, um, oh exams, exams are in bright red, and then class. So I have all of that, all the different colors, different coordinated colors, and I can take a look and just look at my week and see what I need to do that week. So I put everything in here. Um, school events, like the talent show, or like charity events, or stuff like that. I put in dinner with my friends, all of my classes, all my appointments are in here. That way I know at a quick glance what I need to do and when I need to do it, and then I get it done. Because if I didn't have this, I would probably die. <laughs> okay? My phone and my computer are the two things that I really, really need for school. So everything I do is on those things. And they help me keep um, keep connected and keep me on in line with what I need to do. So I get all my emails on my phone. I get, I do everything on my phone on all my computer. So that's how I keep organized. Okay. Other things that have been happening, I have a lot of videos that I need to edit because I haven't had time to do it. I have the As the Annual video, I have the Adia Annual video, I have a day in the life that I probably filmed before winter break but I never got around to editing it because I've been really busy. Um, I have other things that, um, oh the ergonomics video for my ta project. I have that, I just have to sit down with my friends and edit it. Um, what other things have been happening? So. I actually got a new wave of subscribers, so thank you so much. I think a lot of them are from um, an open house NYU CD had a couple weeks ago. It was an open house for prospective students, so undergraduates, some high schoolers were there, some postgraduate students were there, and they're all kind of there to kind of get an idea of what NYU is like and everything. So I actually got to sit on a panel and represent, one, be one of the D3s that represent the D3 class, and talk about my experience in school and everything, so that was a lot of fun. I met a lot of people, I actually met a couple of viewers, so that was really cool. Um, so that's what I was doing for like a Saturday. I also filmed like the Amalgam video, if you didn't see it already. Um, so I've been keeping myself busy so <laughs> I need to hunker down, find a weekend and just edit all these videos that I have and also I need to film a bunch of videos that I want to film because there are topics that I frequently get asked. So things like what's NYU like? I heard a rumor that you know people get kicked out. Um, what's the interview process like? What's it like moving? Um, how do you find an apartment? Stuff like that. And I just want to be able to make a video, put it on so that like a lot of other people can benefit because I think it takes me a lot more time to sit there and type to every single person than it is to make a video. But I just have to find time to make a video. Anyway, so a lot of things have been going on. I'm a little overwhelmed with school right now, so videos are going to probably be on pause for a while, um, but I will find time for them because I really do enjoy making these videos. And Every time that somebody says something nice, like, oh my god, thank you so much, I've learned a lot from your videos, or I never knew that, and thanks so much for sharing, it really makes me feel good because I, I think I would have benefited a lot if there was somebody that did this for when I was in like applying or if I was in dental school or something like that so that way I wouldn't be so stressed and I wouldn't be so oh my god I don't know what's going on so I think it's really nice that everyone's watching and thanks so much um, for encouraging me and you know making me smile and everything so one more thing before I go 
It's the Oral Cancer Walk. It's coming up April 28th. It's a Saturday. It's starting right here at NYU CD. And I think it's a really good cause. All the money is going to Oral Cancer Foundation. And it's a group that helps um, to do research and education and all that stuff. It's really important, especially because we're dentists, that we, you know, promote oral cancer awareness. Because if you can catch oral cancer at an early stage, if you can <clears throat> diagnose and detect it at an early stage, the prognosis for the patient is way, way better. So if you have some free time, please come out and walk. Um, Information is going to be in the box below. Um, or if you can just donate, maybe $5. You know, every little bit helps. So thank you so much for all your support. You guys make me feel awesome every single day. You guys help encourage me and everything. So. Thanks, and I will get around to making this video soon, and good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe. Thanks.